Hi everyone, welcome to the frequency domain. Today we are going to complete simulating our stepped impedance filter in ADS software by taking our design into the momentum simulator. To do that, we can simply go to the layout menu and click on generate layout. Here is our layout. As we expected, it consists of two 50 ohm lines at both ends and five high low impedance sections in between. To run the EM simulation, we should set up the simulator. First, we add two ports at both ends. Then we click on the EM simulation setting and create a new EM setup. There are a bunch of settings and options in here, but we are going to review the most necessary ones. Let's start with substrate. We are going to introduce our substrate by adding a new substrate. Let's call it Rogers. Here we can select the material of our substrate from the library or even define a new one. Since the RO4003C has already defined in ADS software, we don't need to define it and we can simply select it from the library. Then we set the thickness of the substrate. If you are interested in to take into account the loss of the conductors, you can also set the material and thickness for the conductors layers. Now we can set up the frequency plan like before from 10 MHz to 30 GHz. We leave the number of iterations as default for now, but if your simulation needs more iterations, you can increase this number later. There are so many things to talk about the calibration of ports and momentum, but I think the best guide through this step is the video produced by Keysight itself. I put the link of this video in the comment section. To have a more accurate simulation, you may want to go to the options menu and increase the number of mesh cells per wavelength. The trade-off here is between time and accuracy. As you increase the number in here, you will have a more accurate result, but at the expense of increasing the simulation time. You may want to change this number a few times to get the best answer. Just remember that so many things like maximum frequency, the shape of the layout and type of the element you are simulating is affecting this number. In our simulation, we will proceed with the default number here. Now we are ready to save the simulation setup and hit the run button. Here it is the filter response. As expected, it has almost 10 dB bandwidth and more than 20 dB of attenuation at the stop band. If you want to compare the results between a schematic and EM simulators, you can simply add another plot and select the results from dataset connected to the schematic window. As you can see, the results are pretty the same and agree with each other. Of course, the results from the EM simulation is what you have to consider in your final design. Thank you all for watching this video. We are hoping you find the video useful. And see you next time.